Hey friends, my name is Yi and you're watching Yi Miss Easy. Welcome back to a new video for IGCAC at Matt and today we have rules and examples for derivatives of exponential, natural logs and extra functions. And we'll start off with some basics but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so let me know on any future videos. And we'll start off with exponential functions. So let's say we have the function of e to the power of ax plus b. We can let u be ax plus b right here, so it will be e to the power of u. Like so, right? So we can do use the chain rule of dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx to find dy over dx, which would be a, uh, a times e to the power of ax plus b. So in essence, it's basically like this. Like so. so we have this general function here. So basically, e to the power of f of x will be equal to the derivative of the function and the original equation. So let's say if we have e to the 2x, y equals e to the power of 2x, dy over dx will be equal to the derivative of 2x if it's 2, so it will just be 2e 2x. It's quite simple. So one thing to note is that we, if we have e to the power of uh, y equals e to the power of x, the derivative will be equal to itself because there's no like 2 or like any integer in front and it's just 1 and the derivative of x will be 1 so it's just basically 1 e to the power of x or just by itself then we have logarithms or natural logarithms to be exact because we'll look more because uh, in RGCSE at maths we look into natural logs which is ln or log base e or like this is basically a log. So if we have uh, d over dx ln x will be equal to 1 over x. And if it's ln ax plus b, it will be equal to a over ax plus b. Can you spot the pattern? It's basically uh, equal to the derivative of ln, like a function f of x will be equal to the derivative of the function divided by the function itself. So let's say if we have ln um, y equals ln 3x squared dy over dx will be equal to the derivative of the function which is 6x over the original function 3x squared and then we can simplify this cancel cancel to become 2 cancel cancel therefore the answer will be 2 over x like so then we have kinematics some basics and this will be just like a starter or like a basic because we'll look more into kinematics in the later topic so we have distance, velocity, and acceleration. And these three uh, components are interlinked together. Because if you differentiate distance, you'll get velocity. And if you differentiate velocity, it'll be acceleration. But if you integrate acceleration, it will be velocity. And if you integrate velocity, it will be distance. And we haven't, in we haven't covered integration, but we'll cover next lesson. And basically all three functions are d something over dt, like so. Then we have some examples. So we have number one, differentiate e to the power uh, e to the power of two x plus one. So that y equals e to the power of two x plus one. dy over dx will be equal to the derivative of the power, which is two. So pull it down, two e and an original equation two x plus one. Like so it's quite simple. And number two, we have differentiate e to the power of 2x and sine x. So y equals e to the power of 2x sine x. We have to use the, um, the chain rule or the product rule. So let's set this as v and u. dy over dx will be equal to v u prime or the derivative of u plus u v prime. v in this case, in the first case, is e to the power of 2x. And u, uh, derivative of sine x is cos x, so cos x. Like so, plus the u, which is the sine x. Uh, I ran off. I ran off space, so I just put s x. And the, the and uh, the derivative of u, uh, v, which is v prime, is just two e two x. So two. Oh, zoom in. Two e two x. Like so. So we can basically just simplify this, but before we simplify, I can just extract the e to the power of 2x from both, like a factor. So it'll be e to the power of 2x, bracket, 
I can just do, do to sign x plus cos x Oops. cos x like so then we have some more questions differentiate oops differentiate is about 3x over 1 plus 2x so we have to use um the rule that that's connected to the fraction so we have v equals e sorry y equals e over the power 3x plus over 1 plus 2x the bottom one will be v and the top one is u and the y over the u will be equal to v u prime minus u v prime over v square so v in this case is 1 plus 2x times by the derivative of the u which is e to the power of 3x which is just e 3x like so minus u is just e to the power of 3x times by the derivative of u which is just 2 because 1 plus 2x is just 2 and then the bottom is just v square which is just 1 plus 2x square so so now what I can do is that I can just um, extract the fraction, uh, sorry, extract the e to the power of 3x. So e to the power of 3x in the function, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, like a fraction. So this will be 3, uh, it will be 3 plus 6x on the top, right? Minus a 2, so it will be 6x plus 1, and the bottom is just 1 plus 2x squared, and that's it. And differentiate, uh, differentiate ln x squared plus 1. So we have y equals ln x squared plus 1. This is a function. And the, the, the derivative of the ln from just now is basically the derivative of the function over the function. Which is equal to, I just use new color. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x over the function itself, x squared plus 1. And that's it. And then we have question 5, differentiate ln x7 minus 2x to the power of 3, or like cube. So we have 7 ln, uh, sorry, y equals, uh, y equals ln 7 minus 2x cube. So in this case, we have to apply knowledge from different topics. And from the logarithms question, uh, videos that I made from the first few lessons, we can actually pull down the power, right? So it will be 3 ln 7 minus 2x, like so. So we can basically just integrate, uh, sorry, differentiate from there. dy over dx would be equal to 3 because 3 is a constant times f of like f prime x over f of x, which is equal to 3 times the derivative of 7 minus 2x is minus 2 over the original function 7 minus 2x, like so. And then we can basically just do minus 6 over 7 minus 2x. And I want to get rid of the negative, so I'll just times everything by negative, so it'll be 6 over 2x minus 7, like so. And last question, we have differentiate ln 1 minus 2x over 1 plus x. So we have to break this down, so y equals ln 1 minus 2x plus 1 over 1 plus x. So we can basically just use... Um, we can just differentiate the inside first because this is basically an f of x and basically f prime x will be equal to v u prime minus u v prime over v squared and this is v and this is u that means we can integrate uh, we can differentiate straight away 1 plus x times by the uh, derivative of u which is just minus 2 minus u 1 minus 2x oops so u 1 minus 2x and the derivative of uh, v is just 1 so it doesn't matter and then over v squared which is 1 plus x squared so we can just basically what we can do is that we can simplify the top so it'll be minus 2 minus x minus 1 plus 2x over 1 plus x squared therefore f prime x would be equal to the minus 2x and minus x cancel out, and it'll be minus 3 over 1 plus x squared, like so, number 1. And let me just rub this out. I'll give you like a few seconds. And then rub it out. So I'll just rub this part out. So once we have what f prime x is, we can just do y 
equals ln 1 minus 2x over 1 plus x. The derivative will be equal to f prime x divided by f of x because it's just f prime like so. It's the same thing. So f prime x is minus 3 over um, 1 plus x. So square 1 1 plus x squared divide by f of x which is just 1 plus x 1 plus x and 1 minus 2x which in this case we can basically just solve it using normal fraction using algebra which is just minus 1 minus 3 over 1 plus x squared times by 1 plus x 1 minus 2x cancel cancel 1 that means it will be equal to minus 3 over 1 plus x and 1 minus 2x. Or in this case, we can just times the negative by 1 minus 2x to like flip it around. Or like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this rules and examples of video for derivative of extra functions. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on any future videos. And comment if you have any constructive feedbacks about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram. Or if you have any questions at all. And you can email me where my email is in my YouTube bio. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description. Or you can type it out in your browser at www.emailsteasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be questions for the derivatives of extra functions or like exponential and natural logarithms. But until then, stay safe and happy learning. Mm -hmm.